Hi, I'm Zachary Tuff. I lead our research in people analytics for Deloitte's human capital research and sensing. In this video, we'll be focusing on broadening data skills. This means establishing data savviness, not just for analytics resources, but for the organization as a whole. Why are broad data skills important? Let me begin by sharing a well-known Indian parable about blind men describing an elephant. None of them can see the elephant, but each of them feels one part of it and describes this part to the others. One man says the trunk is like a snake. The other says the body's like a wall, the ear a fan, and so on. Because each man's perception is different, the collective image they create is not accurate. The same thing happens when the organization has limited data savviness. And this, much like an elephant, is a big deal. You can't make an impact when you don't understand what you're looking at or even understand each other. Not everyone in your organization needs to be a data scientist, but your broader HR team or applicable workforce can still benefit from having data skills. By this, we mean knowing what questions to ask, how to gain data that solves problems, how to interpret others' analyses, and how to communicate with data. To achieve this, several skills are critical. First, basic data literacy. This is being familiar with basic statistical concepts, like a mean, the average value, median, the middle value, and mode, the most frequently occurring value, normal distribution, to determine if data falls into a bell-shaped curve or if the data is skewed, and representative and random sampling techniques to make estimates about a larger population based on collecting data from a smaller group. Another skill is doing primary research, which is any type of research that is collected directly. Some examples are HR business partners conducting a survey, holding interviews, or arranging focus groups, all with structured questions that avoid loaded or leading items. Next is data visualization, which is the graphical representation of data, such as histograms, time series, maps, etc. Data visualization helps your audience easily understand key points and patterns within the data. Finally, data storytelling is an important skill because it translates findings into an easily understood narrative. Consider details such as what was the need? What key insights were found? How can the audience act on these insights to create an impact? It's imperative to find ways to help teams develop data skills. But no matter which options you choose, consider how to make it relevant to the job. People value skills that they can apply regularly. Make it happen within the flow of work. If data skills aren't tied to work being done, they won't stick. Make it fun. Find ways to make these sometimes dry skills engaging. To make things easier, keep in mind that most likely your organization has existing analytical trainings for other functions or roles that could be leveraged and adapted for HR. To learn more, look out for the next videos in our Creating a Data Culture series. To learn more about how to create a data culture, please get in touch with a representative at the link below.